Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for September 15, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you can hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to support our channel over at Patreon, where you can early get early access to some of our videos. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and as you can see, we have been approaching the 50 moving average, which usually is a massive support. This may well be uh, as far as this market will drop uh, for now, but September is usually horrible for uh, indices, stocks, and, and so on. You see basically what happened last September where this market fell roughly um, 10 to 12 percent to the downside, rallied, and then again rallied, and then fell again, um, making a double bottom here in October last year, and then we continued this rally. So We'll see if 50 moving average, if that breaks, then watch out below because then 4,250 and then the 200 moving average down here at 4,100 will most likely come into play. MACD is uh, bearish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is bearish, and still there's a lot of room to the downside, but still 50 moving average is uh, is usually, usually holds, and at the moment it is still holding. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones has um, broken way below the 50 moving average, and we are looks like we're going to have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average. And usually that is a very worrying sign. We can see what basically happened here. It fell roughly significantly, and the same here, and so on. So if we do have a crossing, that usually is a very worrying sign. If you can see the MACD, it is uh, bearish, the Kansas is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well, but there's not a lot of room to the, uh, to the downside. So this may fall further, but we are at the bottom of the bullish band, and we should see this a rally in the next day, a few trading days. Otherwise, if we continue breaking down here, then massive support should be down right here, or basically the bottom of this market, down at the 200 moving average at the 33,178. This is also where we can see we bounced last time we fell back in June. So retesting of this that should be basically the bottom of this market so let's look at nasdaq so nasdaq continues to fall from its all-time highs of 15,690 and now we're trading at 15,368 so it has basically been a gradual uh, grind to the downside but still nothing significant we haven't had like a three four uh, percent minus uh, uh, training day uh, like we did last year or like we seen in may and then basically in march and so on we had several of those and this was basically september last year where this basically fell off a cliff it went from 12,500 give or take it all the way down towards 10,670 so we haven't seen this kind of fall this is looks like just a normal fall drop towards support which is probably the 50 moving average or basically the bottom here roughly at 15,000 that's probably where we are going to drop to if 15,000 drops then uh, breaks i mean we could drop towards the 14,000 and 200 moving average down here so i usually don't buy anything on in september this usually is a month that i uh, stay back at least for stocks because it usually is a horrible month for stocks if you look at MACD, it is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and so is RSI, and there's a lot of room still to the downside. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX has basically been trading sideways um, for a very long time. We can see that at the bottom here, roughly at 15,450, and the top here, roughly 16,000. That's basically where we've been trading at. So we are finding it's uh, resistant here at the middle of the bullish band. That's not a very good sign. And uh, technical English otherwise are very mixed. MACD is bearish, the Kansas is bullish, and RSI is flat. So uh, this technically needs a clear indication where it is, is going. Uh, probably the best thing to happen here is we've been dropping to 15,000. That would be a really good trade to just hold for a very long time. That should be basically the bottom of this market, 15,000, also the 200 moving average goes in this direction. So let's look at the UK 100. Oh, so very similar here, it has been 
just going back and forth. It has been horrible to trade. It's basically uh, that tradable at this point. We're going to have a crossing of the 20 exponential and 50. Usually that uh, is uh, a negative sign. MACD is bearish, stochastic is becoming bullish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So if we break below uh, 17,000, then 200 moving average down here at 6,861 is coming is going to come into play. We can also see that this is where we found massive support in the past. So uh, retest of this level here, that would be a very good, um, uh, very basically cheap to enter here and uh, hold it for a very long time. Break it below the 200 moving average, then this basically starts to fall apart. But we're not even close to that at this current stage. So let's look at China 50. So talk about a market that is falling apart. This is definitely falling apart. So it has dropped from uh, 20,500 and it's trading at 15,256 at this current stage. And looks very much like we are going to retest the bottom yet again, which is roughly 14,500, give or take. If that breaks, then watch out below because we are going to go significantly lower, roughly down to... 13,500, another thousand points to the downside. So we have been going back and forth, but we did not manage to break um, through the 50 move average and actually are getting rejected here. And it looks like we are going to continue. So, yes, uh, MACD is still bullish, as stochastic is becoming bearish, and the RSI is uh, bearish as well. So, hope you find this helpful. If you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, bell button, see our news videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.